to find the outgoing MCCB breaker for motor control sender. Here I already made a video before how to find the uh, incoming breaker for an MCC. If you want to see that video, please visit my channel. And here we have the setup of the motor control sender. And here we have different outgoings. There are different MCCB you can see here. And here we have different motors. These motors could be any pump or any fan like that. I generally put it as motors. And we have here 5 kilowatt single phase motor and here is 7.5 kilowatt three phase motors. And all others are different kind of motors of three phase. And 12 kilowatt, 14 kilowatt and 10 kilowatt motors. And the first motor is single phase motor. So we use MCCB of single pole. But the others motors are three phase so we use TP. TP means three pole. Three pole is required for to connect three phases. Okay. And generally for an MCC that means motor control sender we use MCCB breaker for the outgoings. And generally 25 kilo ampere short circuit capacity MCCB are used for the outgoing breakers and now we need to find what is the ampere rating of all these MCCBs that we are going to find. Here we have the voltage of 400 for three phase and 230 for single phase. First we need to find the FLA full load ampere of all these motors. For to find the full load ampere for the single phase the equation is I is equal to P by V cos theta. For three phase I is equal to P by V root three cos theta. So for the first motor five kilowatt motor is single phase motor. So the current is five into 5.4. I use here a trick for to find the full load ampere easily. You can find the full load ampere either by using this equation directly by putting all the values in this equation or you can use this symbol trick. I already made a video of how to find the full load ampere in this way. If you want to see that video, please visit my channel. So for the single phase motor 5 kilowatt, the current is 5 into 5.4 this 5.4 is the magic value so we will get 27 ampere full load ampere okay and all remaining motors are three phase for the three phase motor current i is equal to 7.5 kilowatt into 1.8 the magic value here is 1.8 for the three phase so for the first motor 13.5 ampere and for the other motors these are the full load amperes now we are going to find the breaker size. The first motor is single phase 5 kilowatt motor and to find the breaker size we need to multiply the full load ampere with 1.25. We have already done that the full load ampere of this motor is 27 ampere. This 27 into 1.25. This 1.25 is the factor to find the breaker size. So we will get 33.75 ampere it is the breaker size but this size is not available so we need to choose the next higher size that means 40 ampere single pole breaker single pole because it is the single phase motor and the second motor is 7.5 kilowatt three phase motor and its full load ampere is 13.5 ampere multiplied by 1.25 we will get 16.88 the next higher size is 20 ampere tripole because it is three phase motor just like that we have already done all these calculations this full load ampere multiplied by 1.25 then we will get these things and we can choose the next higher size mccb and one thing I want to say, in this single line diagram, I did not mention any starters and overload relays. We must use 
overload relays and starters for the motors. In this video, my intention is only to find the MCCB breaker size. I hope you got my point. If you want to see more videos like this, please visit my channel and subscribe it. Thank you.